As the fallout of the GM uh, recalls continue, drivers are filing into uh, dealerships hoping to get their cars fixed. One local dealer says he's seeing f about 15 recall customers a day. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph live at Shims Chevrolet in Clio with more. Walter? Very busy year. He estimates that about 88% of the recalled cars that have been assigned to his dealership have been fixed. And while it may be a hassle to bring in your recalled car into the dealership, customers I spoke with today say they're sticking behind the GM brand. B. Klein has a message for General Motors CEO Mary Barra. Mary, hello. My name's B, and I want you to get this all straightened up. Klein owns two GM cars. This 2007 Monte Carlo that's been recalled, and I bought a, just bought a brand new 2014 Camaro, and that's been recalled. The Clio resident, just one of dozens, getting their cars fixed at Sims Chevrolet. I think we get at least 15 a day. Dealership owner Jim Sims says the influx of customers is not a problem, but getting parts on the other hand. And that's probably the, the balance of what we need to do. We're still waiting for parts parts Marlene Voggs needs for her Chevy Malibu. They don't care. They just put it together. And the older ones, they used to care about what went into the cars. GM officials say there's a change of culture within the company. Dealers and customers hoping that leads to less recalls. It's forced in the hand of the manufacturer to be more conscious of, of how these cars are made. Despite the hassles. When I want to go, I want to go. I don't want to wait on anybody. And waiting. GM drivers staying loyal. I'm planning on next year buying a new GM car. I wouldn't have anything except for GM. Sims tells me that the recalls have not affected his sales figures. He tells me they remain steady this year. Live in Clio, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Bill. Walter, thank you. General Motors still reviewing claims, but here's a recap of what attorney Kenneth Feinberg has approved so far. 19 deaths linked to the ignition switch recalls were approved out of the 125 claims filed. 320 claims total filed for injuries in two different categories. Four approved for catastrophic injuries, eight for hospitalization.